Tallahassee Police Department is investigating a shooting that left a young woman dead Wednesday evening. The woman who was killed in Wednesday's shooting outside of an apartment has been identified as Michaela Bryant, a Florida A&M University student. No one has been arrested for the crime and her family are looking for answers. Michaela Bryant was 22 years old and lived in Tallahassee, Florida. Michaela was described as a beautiful, brilliant, and accomplished young scholar from Chicago who entered FAMU in fall 2017. Michaela was loving, caring, and very supportive to others around her. Michaela was known throughout the campus. She was a captain of the cheer team, a member of Sisters, and a treasurer of the Phi Sigma Theta National Honor Society. Go! win. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm no stranger to school spirit. You see me on the sidelines cheering. Orange and green in my veins? That's how I'm living. I'm bigger than I ever dreamed. And the dream is almost over. Now I am vying to be your queen. My head shall wear a crown. My heart shall be of a rapper. My hands shall cease to never work. And you see game after game. I've already been working on the field. So today, I'm putting down my pom-poms and picking up my sword because I am ready to fight and win whatever the battle be. Greetings, I am Michaela Camille Bryant, a junior criminal justice scholar from the city that breathes legends, Chicago, Illinois. And I am humbly vying to serve as your queen of the orange and the green for the 2020-2021 academic year. Thank you. Michaela was also initiated into the Beta Alpha chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Michaela was deeply loved, admired, and adored by her sorority sisters as well. She graduated with her bachelor's in criminal justice in fall 2020. Michaela was currently pursuing her master's in community psychology. When she wasn't dedicating her time to school, she was spending time exploring the world and enjoying life with those she loved. Today, her loved ones are devastated about the young bright girl who was shot outside an apartment complex in broad daylight, her family and friends needing the public's help. Shots rang out at the Providence Point apartment complex on Stuckey Avenue. Madison Glazer in live at TPD tonight for us with the latest on this investigation. Madison. Police are not releasing any details at this time. Right now, they're only seeing that they're following up on interviews and finishing up on their prospected leads. The incident occurred just before 5 p.m. on January 26, 2022 at an apartment complex off Lake Bradford Road. Michaela was struck by at least one bullet and was rushed to a hospital by a friend, according to reports. Somebody was running up and down the steps and somebody hit our door. It was like they hit our door trying to get in. I don't know if somebody was trying to get help to get in or whatever, but I told him don't look out that door and don't go to the door because, and then that's when we heard the crashing and the loud noises and stuff. This part was an eye-opening experience with somebody losing their life because uh, we've had um, several shootings around here lately. Police said the shooting was not a drive-by or a domestic dispute, but the department could not provide any details on the shooting as the investigation headed by the TPD Violent Crimes Unit says they're in their early stages. Unfortunately, when Michaela arrived at the hospital, she died soon after her arrival. Investigators from TPD's Violent Crimes Unit are continuing to interview witnesses and are working to identify suspects. Invest 
investigators asked anyone who may have witnessed the shooting but did not speak with an officer on the scene to call TPD at 850-891-4200. They can also use the Anonymous Crime Stopper service at 850-574-TIPS. The university president for student affairs spoke out about the incident. They stated, it's painful to lose one of our own. We send our deepest condolences to Michaela's parents, relatives, and friends. This hits close to home. Counseling and briefment services are available for our students and employees. To know MK, even for a day, an hour, a minute, was to have love for a lifetime. She was just a beacon of joy, of light, of happiness, a ray of sunshine, a breath of fresh air. Um, anybody who met her was like someone who liked her. She loved everyone and it's just everyone in this room was from all different types of walk of life and that everyone loved her. If you didn't like her, something was wrong with you. Today, many of her friends and family are still pouring and sharing their condolences, hoping justice is served for their loved one. This story is completely devastating. I will continue to keep her friends and family in my thoughts and prayers. As a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated myself, we're miles apart, but so many people were mentioning this young lady to me. So many people were talking about how amazing she was, how positive she was, how loving she was. I hope that justice is served in this case. They did not clarify if this was her apartment. They did not talk about any surveillance. I've only seen two articles on this story. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys deeply. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones.